Phase two clinical trials are well underway for two Taiwan developers of COVID vaccines. Today, we stopped by Tango Memorial Hospital in Linko to meet some of those bearing their arms for the trial. These study participants have accepted the risk to give Taiwan a shot at producing a game-changing vaccine. This subject shows the site of a COVID vaccine he was just administered. When asked if he's worried about the side effects, he says not at all. No, I believe in Taiwan. Taiwan is very small, but we don't need to rely on the efforts overseas. We can make a vaccine ourselves. Just now I asked the doctor, who said that if I really am worried, it's better not to receive the vaccine. But I feel that the concerns are a bit exaggerated. We ought to trust our own country's products. The doctor said I may experience mild pain, along with dizziness and related symptoms. But right now I feel fine. Taoyuan General Hospital Superintendent Xu Yongnian is among those who signed up to take the jab. Here at the clinical trial site at Linko's Changgung Memorial Hospital, we see doctors and nurses among the volunteers. Basically, all of us know that some side effects are experienced in clinical trials. Some people might say, you're a guinea pig in an experiment. I think it all depends on how you think about it. If the analyzed data that emerges from this situation is positive, that would be a very good thing for Taiwan. Three Taiwan companies are developing COVID vaccines. At the end of last year, Medigen was the first to be approved for phase two trials, and it's already recruited thousands of participants. United Biomedical got the green light for phase two last month, and it plans to recruit 3,850 people by March. Adamune is the slowest of the three, and it's still in the first phase of human testing. As for timelines, Medigen hopes to apply for emergency use authorization as early as June, while United Biomedical is looking at September. The work on domestic vaccines seems to be progressing quite smoothly. There have been no reports of unusual adverse reactions. Gradually, testing will expand to high-risk and sensitive groups. The health minister said that even if disruptions affect the procurement of foreign-made vaccines, local jabs should be ready for use in the near future. To make that possible, everyday heroes are rolling up their sleeves to do their part for Taiwan's COVID fight.